Happy New Year to everyone. I wish you all the best of the year ahead, 2024. Even though we have so much bad news about possible World War III, global recession, and all kinds of uh, predicaments in terms of weather and uh, social uh, ambience of life, I think uh, we deserve to celebrate our new year and uh, months ahead with a more positive approach and more optimistic strategy. And one thing I want always to do for the new year is to, I would say, re-engineer my goals and my mission ahead and reset. And resetting means to say we have to audit things that do not work anymore in our lives and then replace them with new innovations or creative actions that might improve our performance in life. Not only in terms of money, your one wing, but in terms of spirituality also and higher significance in life. So you balance your spiritual, your material and spiritual life so we can fly high with two balance and long wings, material wing and spiritual wing. Another thing I like to suggest to my students and disciples around the world is to be able to audit our time wasters, time interrupters and time robbers. Things that are interrupting our performance because we have habitual people who are always uh, interrupting our sequences in our lives. So we need to understand how to overcome these time interrupters and mostly they are people, and time robbers, which is more uh, our own attitudes, our own lack of skill sets, or robbers such as uh, our, even our procrastination and delay and all kinds of alibis. So when we identify the time wasters, time robbers, and time interrupters, and do our best to eliminate them by planning first, to eliminate them and deciding that we need to eliminate them. Like the attitude of always prioritizing urgent important thi urgent things but not important or important things but not urgent. So we need to discriminate what are urgent and important things to do first and to focus what we can do best. Not stop things because we have many things we cannot do. So we prioritize what we can do first before we focus on what we cannot do and get stuck in the process. And of course, to list down the best people in your life who had contributed to your life and, and success and really thank them and bring them into a rapport by which they continue helping us and thank them and give them some reciprocal help and gifts and services as well. And also list them so that we can maintain that good connections and even include other new people who might contribute to our lives so we can also contribute to them in the process. The law of reciprocity is give and take. And also some critique group which who are people who are not always telling us the sweet things. People who are always giving us a true evaluation of our uh, life and do not hesitate to tell, her, tell us what it is. So sometimes we need to know what they think about what we're doing or decisions so that they will bring us a balance between our fanatical attitudes and the reality. So they will prevent us to make, I would say, the seeds of failure or pitfalls of idealism or pitfalls of the, the blunders of, of the things we do not always realize. There's always the blind spot. And of course, to take care of those people who help us a lot and people who are helping us with their evaluation of life and critique criticisms in a positive way, constructive at that. And also lists what are next approaches in life that matters most, that matter most. And also our next steps so that we will even improve our performance this coming year of 2024. Listing things are very important because it does not allow us only to get fanatical and idealistic. If when you write something, you know that it is real or it is an assumption or is it an influence from other people's suggestion 
or it is really the thing you want to do and make a decision for 2024. So decision making probably is one thing that we sometimes neglect as a prime talent or skill set that we need to develop. Decision making has to be part of our uh, lives and also the, the wise use of time, resources and our talent and relationship. So we need to take care of time expenditure so that we will not suffer what we call the time poverty or we don't have time to do many things. So we need to analyze our time expenditure, our weekly schedules, our time sheets, how do we really spend every day and what are the top 20% that produces our 80% results. They say that only 20% of our time usage will produce the 80% of results that we need. Most of the other times are more time robbers or trivial things or menial things that we don't need. So we need to do our time management auditing and put a new form of, of sequencing in our life so that we will focus on our goal that are urgent important things first. If you have extra time then do the important things that might not be urgent but do not do the urgent things that are not important at all. Then we have all the time to do those most urgent important things. So I would like to uh, greet you all. I'm not lecturing to you now. I'm just wanting to share my inspiration of what I'm doing for the year and the next year so that hopefully these tools or these suggestions might also affect your performance next year so that you can fly high with two big wings, material wing and spiritual wing. So we can all sustain that height of success, ascension to higher spiritual heights, which brings not only fulfillment in our lives, but also enlightenment. Namaskar to all. Again, a blessed, prosperous, harmonious, and dynamic next year, 2024. Salute and blessings.